Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Let's talk about the knee, the role of that trail knee, how that trail knee should work in the backswing turn to ensure you're turning properly. So well, when we set up, um, both knees have roughly the same amount of knee bend. Let's just say they have the same amount of knee bend. When the trail hip turns back, the trail leg straightens and loses flex. You can see if my trail leg, you can see like the top half of my trail leg from the knee to my hip compared to that knee to my shin, lines up as one line, okay? If we turn the trail hip back as the trail leg straightens and loses flex, it should still look like one line when we turn properly. What some people do is, whether they maintain knee flex, whether they, they try to shift their weight to the right foot, uh, but do it incorrectly, what sometimes often happens is when they do that and they try to turn, the trail knee works outside towards the outside of the trail foot. We don't want that, okay? The trail knee should not be working in and should be not working out. It shouldn't be doing either of that in the backswing turn. All it should be doing is straightening and losing flex, okay? You can see at the top of the backswing, I still have that straight line look. We don't want if the trail leg, if the trail knee works outside the trail foot in the backswing. Now you can see the top half and the bottom half of my leg don't match up now, okay? It's two different lines. Knee to hip, if I draw a line there, is now outside the trail foot. Knee, uh, knee down to my, to, my, to my ankle, it's definitely not matching up. We don't want that, okay? That's the look we want to look for from the face on view when you guys film yourself to determine whether or not you're turning properly or not. That's a good telltale sign for you guys to look at. When the trail hip turns back properly, the trail knee does not work inwards, it does not stay in, it does not work out. The trail knee kind of stays where it is as it straightens and loses flex. And at the top of the backswing, I have one straight line from my hip down my knee, down to my ankle, okay guys? We do not want it to work outside the trail foot in an effort to shift weight or maintain knee flex. That's two lines, that's not what we want. You're gonna hurt yourself down the road. It's not very comfortable either. So hopefully you guys will stop doing that, okay? Turn the trail hip back properly as you load the inside trail foot, inside trail heel. Should, get, should just let the trail knee lose flex, get that straight line look. So I'll do it one time for you guys. Do it, do it incorrectly. We don't want that. That's the trail knee working outside the trail foot. Now we're gonna do it properly. Trail leg loses flex as the trail hip turns back. And then whatever happens, happens from there, guys. So, Hope that helps, hope that makes sense. Do not let the trail hip work in or out. Just let that trail knee lose flex when you turn that trail hip back in the backswing. So uh, ch check yourself on that video. Um, any questions, leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.